Before I wrote the script for this video, I had no idea how strong Gujarat's startup ecosystem was. I mean, I'd always known that Gujarat had business DNA, which is why you'll find Gujaratis in pretty much every corner of the globe, and more often than not, they're running companies. And everybody's heard of India's two wealthiest men who are both Gujarati, Mukesh Ambani and Gautam Adani. But did you know that out of 169 billionaires in India, 86 are Gujaratis? However, very few of these billionaires are in the tech space. The way that someone like, for example, Mark Zuckerberg or Elon Musk began their journey as a tech startup founder. And so in this video, I want to explore the landscape of Gujarat's next batch of billionaires, the people and startups that are growing innovative companies across Surat, Gandhinagar, Vadodara, and Ahmedabad to find out what the future of Gujarati tech looks like. And trust me, most of these companies you've never heard of, and they're going to blow your mind. So let's jump right in and start off with Surat. It's one of the fastest growing cities in the world and historically was known for cutting and polishing 90% of the world's diamonds, but its startups are just as impressive as its traditional industries. So first up on this list, we have Zero Cow Factory. And as the name suggests, this is an FMCG startup that's developing milk, ice cream, cheese, and yogurt products without any cows. How is that possible? Well, it's a long scientific process, but basically they take the DNA codes responsible for making milk protein and train micro organisms to make that same protein in a lab environment. Now, they've raised $4 million so far to accelerate R&D, get the necessary licenses required to sell in the Indian and American market, and eventually launch their Zero Cow products. Next up, we have Star Lab, and this is a startup that's literally prepping the next generation of Indian founders to go to space. And let's be honest, with local companies like Pixel, Skyroot, and Agnikul Cosmos building rockets and launching satellites into space, it's pretty clear that Indian space tech has a very bright future. Star wants to foster and grow that ecosystem. And to do so, they've set up a space tech makerspace in Surad for students to design, build, and test space technology. They also offer a 30-day internship program, which offers hands-on experience to aspiring space pioneers. And these guys have been in business now for more than five years and have reached 12,000 students with their programs till date. Now, before we leave Surab and head over to Gandhinagar, I want to shout out a VC firm, Dolakia Ventures. These guys are heavily investing in Gujarat's startup ecosystem, and of course, they're based in Surat. And then there's also two startups that I didn't get a chance to talk about, Suvit, which is an AI-powered automation software startup for accounting, and then also a device-agnostic VR and gamification edtech startup, Melzo, which is bringing 3D interactive education to young people in Gujarat. All right, now let's move on to Gandhinagar, which of course is the capital city of Gujarat. And because it's so close to Ahmedabad, most of the startup action is centered there, rather than in Gandhinagar itself. But there is one very promising startup based in the state's capital, and this is Imagine Power Tree, a startup that's building solar panel arrangements that don't look like just a boring industrial grid of solar panels, but instead are arranged in the shape of a flower or a tree. And apart from the fact that these arrangements look nice, they also end up taking up less space, and the petals or leaves of this solar structure can be adjusted to ensure that the angle is optimized for generating as much solar power as possible. These guys ended up getting onto Shark Tank India and were asking for 1.5 crore rupees at a 60 crore rupee valuation. And while the sharks didn't end up investing, Imagine Power Tree is sure to succeed in India's rapidly growing renewable energy industry. All right, now let's head over to one of Gujarat's most culturally and artistically influential cities, Vadodara. From an industry standpoint, Vadodara is known for its manufacturing prowess. Huge supplies of power equipment, rail coaches, defense aircraft, chemicals, and pharmaceuticals are made in this city, but it also has a thriving startup ecosystem. In fact, Barul University recently hosted the third edition of the Vadodara Startup Festival in January of 2023, where young entrepreneurs were able to secure 27 crore rupees in investment and 550 internships. So the first startup that I want to talk about in this city is making black water. And I know that that might sound strange, but Evocus is making an alkaline drink, which is infused with essential minerals and has a pH of 8 plus. It has no carbs, sugar, caffeine, and it's made in a state of the art factory too. Now, being a D2C brand, the thing that impresses me most about this startup is their influencer marketing strategy, where they've been able to get articles and social media posts published highlighting how athletes, actors, and influencers are loving the product. And I haven't personally tried it because it's 100 rupees for a 500 ml bottle, but obviously this is a health and fitness oriented product, not a water replacement. 
Next up, we've got a pretty well-known player in the EV charging space that's based in Vadodara Charge Zone. So these guys have an app where you can find charging stations for your EV, Pan India, but I think the more interesting aspect of this company is the way in which they've made charging stations an asset class. With a minimum investment of 9.9 .9 lakh rupees and a minimum ROI of 20%, investors can set up charging stations as franchisees in India. And because it's all set up using Charge Zone's platform, these station owners can track their station's usage and revenue over time. Charge Zone has raised $68 million so far, with their largest round being a recent Series A1 worth $54 million. Now, I want to do a little shout out here because the founder of Charge Zone, Kartike Haryani, has also recently set up another startup, completely different thing here, Billion Mobility. It's also based in Vadodara, and what they're planning on doing is making and selling EVs. This startup recently raised $10 million to deploy electric tarmac buses at Kempegoda International Airport in Bengaluru, and they're also going to be developing a mid-mile e-truck platform too to transport things between ports and warehouses. All right, now it is finally time for us to head over to the most populous city in the entire state of Gujarat, Ahmedabad. And I wanna take a little break from business here because look at this. This is one of the most beautiful waterfronts of any Indian city that I've ever seen. And they've even got this world-class iconic pedestrian footbridge. But apart from these modern additions, Ahmedabad is also an ancient city with a rich history, making it an incredible incredible place to start up in. Now, those of you who have been with Backstage with Millionaires long enough to remember our top 10 defense startups video might remember this startup, which is the first one in Ahmedabad that I want to talk about, Optimized Electrotech. These guys specifically focus on surveillance and optics, and that's the reality of the world that we live in today. As military-grade camera systems improve with each passing year, having access to this kind of technology is becoming more and more advantageous for companies and countries, be it in the form of stationary surveillance solutions, vehicle and drone mounted cameras, or digital weapon scopes. Optimized Electrotech sells all of these to India's defense and paramilitary forces, the aerospace sector and airports, along with private companies and foreign entities who all want state-of-the-art electro-optics. All right, moving on to something that's a little bit more consumer oriented here. Just Dogs is a company that you probably aren't familiar with if you don't own a dog. But if you do, like me, then there's a good chance that you've interacted with this brand. So Just Dogs is a retail chain of 50 plus stores pan India. They're doing upwards of 100 crore rupees in annual revenue. But the really interesting thing here about this business is that they started a pet brand in Ahmedabad, which is a terrible place to do that. According to the company's co-founder, Ashish Anthony, its demography boasts of Gujaratis, Marwadis, and Jains, and when they hear of dogs, they connect them with non-veg, and so they don't want anything to do with dogs. But against all odds, Just Dogs has become one of the largest pet retail chains in India, and they've done this by taking a mixed approach of having 19 company-owned branches and the rest being franchised locations. All right, so our next startup is a true invention startup, a product that really didn't exist at all before one very ambitious entrepreneur decided to come along and build it from scratch. The company is called on to cook and they've made a smart cooking device that uses a combination of overhead microwaves and induction to cook food with less energy and much, much more quickly. And if I'm being honest, this is the thing that I personally hate most about cooking. It takes so much time. This technology is actually patented by the company in the UK, the US, and India. And the founder of this company, Sanantan Sudhir, went on Shark Tank India, and his episode has more than 4 million views on YouTube. Now, he didn't end up raising any money from the sharks. He was asking for 1 crore rupees at a 100 crore rupee valuation in exchange for 1% of on to cook, which the sharks thought was pretty funny. But then Sanantan actually ended up raising 1.7 crore rupees after the show aired at a 100 crore rupee valuation for 17% of the company. So who's laughing now, sharks? Anyways, let's continue on with the theme of food here because our next startup is a company that you might not have realized you've interacted with multiple times, but you probably have Pet Puja. This is a restaurant software company that has clients like TGI Fridays, Lapino's Pizza, Yum Yum Cha, Gianni's, and Apsara Ice Creams, and 55,000 other restaurants across India, North Africa, and the US. UAE. And they offer standard stuff like restaurant billing, inventory management, and a CRM. But the one thing that stood out to me here is their inventory supply business, where they've actually set up a B2B marketplace for suppliers to sell ingredients, furniture, tableware, kitchenware, appliances, and packaging to restaurants. To build out these solutions, Pet Puja has raised $8.9 million so far, with their most recent round being a $4.5 million Series B. All right, now let's move on to the final startup in this list. I've been saving them for last because I think
think what they're building is just so cool. And no, it's not Lending Cart, although Lending Cart does deserve an honorable mention, and they probably deserve the top spot on this list in terms of valuation or funds raised or something like that. It's one of these metrics, but I just find the lending space very boring. So we're gonna focus on something that's not boring, this. For me personally, this is probably the coolest electric bike that I've ever seen. And that's coming from somebody who's actually familiar with ultraviolet automotive. This bike kind of gives me Cyberpunk 2077 vibes, or I guess the best real world equivalent would be the Hyundai Envision 74, but obviously in bike form and a bit more colorfully accented. But for the time being, this bike called EXC is actually just a concept. It's not something that they're producing commercially just yet, although I can't wait to see them on the roads of India someday, but they do have a production EV bike available, the Matter Era, which is a geared electric motorcycle, and they're selling it for 1.7 lakh rupees at a 99 rupee pre-booking price. So there you have it. Those are Gujarat's top 10 startups, at least according to me, but leave a comment down below and let me know which Gujarati startups you would have picked, and I'll see you in the next one.